Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of remote learning. Um, today, does anybody know what today is? Today is Thursday. Good job. If today is Thursday, what was yesterday? What, what, what? Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. What's tomorrow? Friday. Good job. Okay. Um, can we count today? Let's, let's count in Spanish today. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, veinte, veintiuno. So today is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Okay, can we look outside and see what the weather is? Is it snowing today? No. Is it raining today? No. Cloudy? No. Nope. Windy? No. It is sunny, so hopefully our weekend will be all sunny for a long weekend. Okay, so next is Miss Maria is going to do Spanish with you guys. Hola amigos, how are you guys? So we this whole week we have been learning about um, parts of plants. So today we're going to go over them in Spanish, okay? So here I have... pictures with the words in Spanish. Now let's go ahead and this is la flor. So flower in Spanish is la flor. The flower, la flor. Okay and this one, yep you're right it's a leaf. And leaf in Spanish is la hoja. La hoja. Okay, and now we have, can anybody tell me what this is? Yep, you're right, this is the stem. And stem in Spanish is el tallo. Can you say it with me? El tallo. All right, and now here we have, hmm, what are these? Yep, these are sunflower seeds or seeds. Um, and seeds in Spanish are las semillas. Okay, let's say it again, las semillas. Okay, and now, what are these? All of these running down the tree. Yeah, these are the roots. Roots in Spanish are called las raíces. Okay, so let's say it one more time. Las raíces. Okay, and now we have this big bright sun. And sun in Spanish is el sol. Okay, can we say el sol? And here we have, yeah, water. Water in Spanish is agua. And then here, what is this? Yep, it's dirt. So, la tierra. Okay, so on our worksheet, we will be, so this is our worksheet for today, and we will be coloring the plant and tracing the words. Okay. And then put this. Okay. 
So let's grab our pencil. And the first thing we do is we write our name and the date. So let's go ahead and write the name. Okay, and the date. Um, okay, so the month, the fifth month of the year, the 21 day of the month, and the year 2020. Okay, so now who remembers what this is called in Spanish? Yep, you're right, la flor. So the flower is la flor. So let's go ahead and trace the word la flor. So we start with the L. So let's say the letters in Spanish today. L, A, F, L, O, R, la flor. Okay, now who can tell me what this part is? Yep, this is the stem, and in Spanish it's called el tallo. So let's trace the line into this word, and here it says el tallo. So let's say the word, the letters in Spanish. E, L, T, A, L, L, O, El Tallo. Okay, now what about this part right here? These are the leaves. So leaves in Spanish are called Las Hojas. So let's trace the word Las Hojas. L, A, H, O, J, A. La hoja. And what are these down here? The squiggly lines. Yep, these are the roots. Roots in Spanish are la raíz. Let's trace this dotted line into the word la raíz. So, L, A, R, A, I, Z, la raíz. And this little um, this little guy right here. <laughs> yep, you're right, it, that's the seed. So we're gonna trace this dotted line into the word la semilla. Seed in Spanish is la semilla. So let's trace the word la semilla. L, A, la, S, E, M, I, L, L, A, semilla, la semilla. Okay, let's say it again. La flor, el tallo, la hoja, la raíz, la semilla. Okay, now let's go ahead and color our plant. I will color my plant purple, or the flower part, purple. Let's count the petals in Spanish. Uno. Dos. Tres, 
4. Okay. And now the inside of the flower, I'll color it yellow. And the stem, el tallo, I'll color it green. Las hojas, the leaves, I'll also color them green. Okay, and la semilla, I will color the seed. Brown. Well, let's color the seed brown. La semilla. And now the roots. Let's trace the squiggly lines and I'll trace, uh, I'll color them brown as well. La raíz. I'll, I'm coloring the root brown. La raíz. Okay, and there it is. There's our, our flower. Okay. So now, Miss Anna will join us with... Well, first we have to do a celebration today. Oh, okay. a shout out. There's a little girl at Irvington. Her name is Hassini, and she's turning four today. So we're gonna sing happy birthday to her today. Okay, ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hassini. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? 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 Are you one? Are you two? Are you three? Are you four? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! So yesterday we started doing what comes next from 1 to 10. So today we're going to do what comes next from 11 to 20. Okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to draw things on here. This time and count, okay? It says... Let's let's write name first. Okay, it says write the number that comes after the given number. Use the dashing boxes to assist with counting. Okay, does anybody know what number this is? Number 12. Good job. So we're going to pick um Draw 12 circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So what comes after 12? 13. So a 1 and a 3. Okay? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What comes after 12? 13. Okay? Next, it's 1 and an 8. 1 and an 8 makes what number? 18 okay so let's draw let's draw um 18 leaves one two three four five 
सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन एंड वट कम्स एफ्टर नाइनटीन अ वन एंड अ नाइन ओके नेक्स्ट नंबर अ वन एंड अ फाइव मेक्स फिफ्टीन सो वर गो can you guys name something to draw that's easy triangles okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, next number sixteen. Then go seventeen. Let's draw. Let's just make dots. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's your one column right there. Your ten column. So now we need to make seven, and then see what else is next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seventeen, and one more. Makes eighteen. Okay. The last one, thirteen. Um. Let's just continue doing dots. Okay. So that way it's easier for you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. There's your ten column, and now we need to do three, and then add one more. One, two, three. So that's thirteen. Add one more is fourteen. Okay. Then we turn the page over. Then we continue. Fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten column. Then we have four for the one column. One, two, three, four. We add one more. So what comes next? Five. So we do a one for the ten column, and five for the one column. It's fifteen. So now we're gonna do nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So that's the. Then we do nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus one more. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
So we write a 2 and a 0. Okay? Do you guys think you could do the last three by yourself or you want to do it together? Do it together? Okay. 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you had 1 and a 7. Next it's 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then just 1. And what comes after? Another one, 2. So you write 12. Okay, last one, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's your two for the 10 column. And then we need to do one extra one so it makes it what comes after 20, 21. Okay, and there's your math paper. Okay, next we're going to sing our song. Alright, my friends, have you guys been learning the song? We're going to sing it. Okay, um, I think I'm going to begin. One, two, three. Oh, do you know the parts of the plants, the parts of the plants, the parts of the plants? Do you know the parts of the plants that make them grow and grow? The roots, we they hold the plant in place, the plant in place, the plant in place. The root, they hold the plant in place. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that they sucks up all the food and water too. The stem moves water up the plant, up the plant, up the plant. The stem moves water up the plant. It brings water to the leaves. The leaves soaks up the rays of the sun, the rays of the sun, the rays of the sun. The leaves soak up the rays of the sun. It helps the flower make food. The flower grows. The flower grows into a fruit, into a fruit, into a fruit. The flower grows into a fruit which holds the tiny seeds. Now you know the parts of a plant, the parts of the plant, the parts of a plant. Now you know the parts of a plant which makes it grow and grow. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I promise tomorrow we will do even better. <laughs> okay, and now... Miss Anna will join us with another project. Okay, so we are doing three letters at a time. So we're on our last letter of the week. So do you guys know what letter we're doing today? We did already W, K, so what letter you think we're doing today? Letter G. Good job. And what sound does G make? G, 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 G. Okay, so here's our sound letter. You start the line from the top to the bottom and around. And then you start and make a circle completely around. Okay? So let's see what we can find that starts with letter G. Does anybody know what this is? G, G, gorilla. How about this one? Good job, a giraffe. Anybody know what this one is? A guitar, g, g. 
Let's see if you guys know what this one is. A golf club. Does anybody know what this one is? It's not a duck. It's a g g g goose. Okay. And you guys could think of things that start with letter G. What color starts with letter G? There's two of them that we do. The green, the color of grass, and a color of an elephant. What color is an elephant? Gray. Good job. So today we're going to do letter G. And letter G, the capital one and the small one, are two different ways of writing it. Okay, so capital G, you start from the dots on the top, and you go all the way around till the dotted line, and then you make a line that goes from right to left. Okay, a little G, you start from the dotted lines, go down past the solid line and make a tail or an upside down umbrella and then you make a circle okay G the capital G is kind of hard so you kind of make from the top go all the way down to the bottom line to the dotted line and make a line from right to left okay lowercase g start from the dots go past and make almost like a J and then start your circle Okay, and if you need help, remember mom and dad or big brother and sister could use yellow, a crayon or a highlighter so you could trace it. Okay, and then a little g. Okay, so today for a capital G, it's going to be yellow. For lowercase g, it's going to be green. Okay, so let's start with capital G. Okay, there's one. See any other ones? Right next to it, good job. Two. Okay, can you see any other ones? Okay, and there's one more. Okay, so now we're doing lowercase g. So it's most, all the circles that we did not color for the grapes. Have you guys ever saw yellow grapes? They're yellow before they turn green. When they're growing, they start off yellow. 
And for us to eat them, they have to turn green if you're eating green grapes. So then they turn green. Because my first question was when I looked at the picture, why are they yellow? But that's why. What other color are grapes? You got it, purple. Okay, and then you color the leaf. Okay, there you go. Then you turn it over. Color the picture that sounds like goat. But first, let's do the G's. Remember, top line is for you to trace, and then the bottom line, you could make a capital G or you could make lowercase g's. Whichever one's easier for you. Okay? So you could finish tracing those when we're done. So what kind of sound does G make again? G, G. Like goat. Okay? So let's look for things that start with G. Can you name one thing that starts with G? Sorry, Miss Anna keeps dropping the crayons. Okay, a giraffe. Good job. Okay, anything else? Glasses. Okay, anything else? A guitar. There's one more. <coughs> Excuse me. A grasshopper. Good job. Okay. And that's your letter G. And then the last you could do is your sand letter. Capital G. lowercase g. Okay, and that's our letter for today. Here comes Miss Maria to do the next project. Alright, my friends. So, today's worksheet, uh, it says types of plants. So we have been learning about all types of plants this week. In this worksheet, we will trace the word of the plant and then we will color the plant. Okay, so first don't forget to write your name. And the date. So can anybody tell me what this plant is? Well, it's more of a, yep, it's a tree. So let's go ahead. And what color are the trees? Can anybody tell me? Yep, they're brown and they are green. So let's go ahead. Should I color this part green? No, that's not green. What about this part? Yeah, let's go ahead and color the top part of the tree green. 
And trees can actually be all type of colors. I think I've seen orange trees. In fall, when the leaves start to fall to the ground, the leaves are sometimes orange or brown. Almost done. And now I'm going to grab my brown pe color pencil and color the trunk. almost done okay and you guys said this was a tree right so let's go ahead and trace the word trees so trees begin with the word with the letter yep with the letter T T R E E S Okay, and I'll go ahead and let you finish um, coloring the other last two trees behind. And then this one. What do you guys think this is? Yep, but you're right, it's a bush. So let's go ahead and trace the word bush. And the word bush begins with the, yep, with the letter B. B. U S H E S bushes. Okay, and I will color the bush. Mm. Let's go with orange. Or is this red? Yep, this is red. And bushes are like tiny trees that didn't grow too tall. On your way for walks or to the park, whenever you guys can go to the park, see if you can spot a bush. Okay, there's the bush. And now, what about this? I don't know if you guys have ever seen vines, but these are vines. And vines usually have grapes, tomatoes, peas, and peas as well. Yep, so let's go ahead and trace the word vines. And vines be begins with the letter V. V I N E S. Vines. So we have trees, we have bushes, and we also have vines. So let's go ahead and color the vines. I'm going to color this part brown and then the leaves green there's a lot of leaves on the vines color a few and then I'll let you finish the rest. Okay, so there it is.
again types of plants we have trees bushes and vines and now we're gonna do some art miss anna will join remember how we asked you guys to get um broccoli and stuff and then i changed it to just draw it well this is a picture of I can't eat a whole plant okay first of all we're gonna draw seeds but I'm gonna change it a little since we already did a picture with broccoli and um, peas and stuff so different kind of seeds are like from corn corn on the cob seeds soybeans beans and peas that's the first thing that all, mostly all plants, trees, vines, everything needs to grow. So in our seed, I am gonna draw corn. And what color is corn? There's white ones, and what other color? You got it, red, yellow ones. Okay, so our seeds are gonna be yellow seeds to make it look like from corn on the cob or popcorn kernels. So if you want, you could draw sunflower seeds, corn seeds, peas. But flowers usually need one or two seeds to grow. Okay, so there's my corn for the seeds. And this part is the flower where we use broccoli, lettuce, cabbage, um, cauliflower. So I'm going to make broccoli. Okay, and remember broccoli has a little stem. And it kind of looks like a tree. So I'm making my stems and broccoli okay so these are the flower which is the petals of the flower And then broccoli kind of looks like a tree. So I'm trying to figure out easy things that we could all draw and what we could think it looks like. So when you go to, if you guys still go to the grocery stores with your mom, go into the vegetable aisle and the fruit and look at all the different vegetables and fruit they have and try to figure out if you guys have time where do they come from? Do they come from trees? Do they come from plants? Or do they come from vines? Or do they grow as the root of the plant? Okay? So now it's a stem. Stem could be celery, asparagus, the broccoli stems. So I'm going to make an asparagus stem. Okay, I'm going to make two of them. Asparagus starts off fat on the bottom and then it goes skinny to a point on the top. Okay, and then leaves that we eat could be lettuce, cabbage, spinach, um, cauliflower leaves that we eat. So these are just going to be regular spinach leaves. I'm just going to put the vines in them. And too, at the grocery store when you go, there's different kind of lettuce that you guys can see. They have them all usually in a bag. 
or in a big huge round circle that you could just peel them all off and you probably could use asparagus leaves or sorry artichoke leaves <coughs> okay next is the root where the seeds start from and grows to roots and it gets all the water the the um the water from the soil to go all the way to the flower so seeds i mean the roots could be um carrots it could be potatoes it could be radish beets or onion because they all grow under the dirt so i'm going to change it and make mine into potatoes because you can see brown potatoes You can see a red potato. <coughs> and you can see a yellow potato. And sometimes they have a purple potato. If you buy a mixed bag, they have purple potatoes in them. Okay, so those are my roots. So this is a plant that we could all eat if you guys eat your vegetables. I like vegetables, so I'll, I'll eat my vegetables. Okay? And there is your art for today, a plant that we could eat. Okay, so when you go check it out in the grocery store, please look at all the different vegetables there are, and the fruit too, okay? Thank you very much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!